Everybody don't believe me, but bro, the hardest person I ever played against who had the guard was MVP did roll up. That was my rookie year coming into the league. I don't know why they wouldn't believe that. It was because it was like it was like him and Russell. Like they just played with so much energy and they, they was always attacking. What's going on guys? It's your boy Serato with another new episode of Laced. And today I have a little bit of a dope custom for you. And of course, a crazy dope interview with my guy John Wall, the newly acquired point guard for the Los Angeles Clippers. That's the most important thing is if you do anything good, don't get satisfied with it. Locker room. As a former Clipper, I'm the way, by the way, I don't think Luke Kennard has missed a shot in a month of Sundays. Oh, John Wall. Yo. What's up, player? What's up, How you? Man? Chilling. Chilling, chilling, chilling. I got something for you. Sheesh. No, these is crazy. Appreciate this for sure. Yeah, these is dope because you got my favorite quote up here, never satisfied, so determined. So that's something I stand by. Like, no matter where you be at in life, you feel like you succeed and have been successful, can yeah. never be the, never can be satisfied. Exactly, exactly. So, like, my motive is, like, even though I made it to the NBA and, like, accomplished a lot of things, I still stay determined to work hard because I'm trying to get to the ultimate goal. So today we're working with the Kobe AD Wolf Gray. Uh, we're gonna go with one of my signature designs, my classic rose print. We're gonna put that on here, rose print with the shark mouth. And he actually gave me a couple of things that he wants on this shoe. In particular, of course, RIP to his mom, you know, Francis Ann Pulley. And of course, RIP to his dad, you know, John Wall Sr. So, but it's time for question one. First thing I gotta get out the way though. I, I remember sitting around with my boys, you know, yeah. of course your, your tape dropped. Everybody was going crazy. It was one of the best tapes, not the best mixtape of all time or whatever. Does that kind of stuff like put like added pressure on you, you feel like? Like was how big was it like when it dropped? It's like, funny because uh, it's a guy named Will Wellman that I use for like a lot of my films and stuff. Yeah. It helped with my uh, John Wall invitation that I got in North Carolina. And we was playing against Chris Middleton in yeah. AAU. And he, he, did a, he did like he filmed it. And I ain't know, I'm just hooping, you know what right. I mean? I go. Uh, to my AU coach, he's like, hey, you got a little video on YouTube. I'm like, what I'm doing on YouTube? Like, I don't need to be up there. He did that and he just started traveling with us for the rest of my high school career. So just imagine him doing that and putting the first video out there and made it hot. So I shout out him and bought a life for that. It was it was dope. It was fun for me because I knew every time I walked into the building, everybody was like, oh, they got that guy, they got that guy, they got that guy. So for me, right. that's big time, you know what I mean? Because I was just known in North Carolina. Like I've always been good, but only in North Carolina because I didn't play on a travel team. So you play right. on a travel team, you get to go to Vegas and all that. Yeah, I feel like that mixtape made it dope, but it was no pressure for me because I came from nothing. So. Yeah, I was out there hunting. Oh, I was cool. hunting everybody. So that tape made me like who I was. And whoever wanted to play me, I was like, I'm not ducking no smoke. Right. It is what it is. Legendary yeah, shit that right joint there. fire for sure. <laughs> Legendary shit right there. Another question for you. So like you you obviously you played on you know for the Wizards for a long time. Your favorite like teammates you had so far? I say my favorite teammate would be Trevor Reza, to be honest. Uh between I would say between Trevor Reza and Paul Pierce, just because of their mindset of uh, pushing me every day. Like they was like, you could be so great in this league, you could be so talented in this league, but you gotta work at it every day. You gotta be able to wanna go get it. And like every time I step on the floor, those two guys tell me you're the best player on the floor. And it right. didn't matter who was playing. So in my mind, you feel me, I'm already confident enough in my ability. But just to hear from my teammates, and then those are the times where I start having better years, better years, better years. But they pushed me to be something that I never thought I probably could be in the league. You know, you first get to the league, you get drafted, like, okay, I belong here, I made, right. I got a statement. But when I got to getting 30s and 14 assists and doing this in the playoffs on the biggest stage, that's when I was like, I'm here. Deliveries from the corner, putting it down. John Wall has been sensational in this series for the first three games. Yeah, you get through, you go through regular season games, you're like, man, I'm killing, I'm doing this, or the TV games is big time, but I never forget first playoff game, we playing the Bulls on the road. And Trevor told me, he was like, every possession count, every possession count. And I'm like, man, every possession can't count as a playoff, like just like the regular season. The atmosphere is different, some of the fouls and stuff call ain't 
the same. Imagine playing a team seven times till you win four games, so they know every play you're doing. And like you taking a break, like they really game planning for you. And I remember one play, I didn't run back on defense. Oh, I got cussed out bad. And I realized when I was in the position to be the veteran he was to certain t teammates on my team, it understand like, yo, every possession matters. Like you have to go out there every possession. Like you make one turnover in the first quarter, it can hurt you in the fourth quarter. In the regular right. season, we don't think like that, but in the playoffs, it's a different breed. And just look how much more it'd be like everybody's tuned into it. I was right, prepared right. for it. Wizards trailed in the first half by 11 to the lead. Wall off the glass. It goes. And he's fouled on the play. He'll you seen Space Jam too? Yeah. What do you think? I think it was cool. I think it was just a different twist. You know what I mean? Yeah. A very, very big different twist than what it was. Like LeBron, he came from high school to becoming the person he was. And I feel like he's the guy that had the most pressure on him since day one. Right. To live up to all this hype and so look what think, he has done. Right. I don't think nobody ever had more heat on him. No, nobody in. else has ever. People, like, you probably had heat on you, but this guy's been having heat since he was damn near 15, 16 years old. Like every year remember. he kept going bing, 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 bing. Just the imagine dude, like him is like, he went from people that was like, they loved him, then they start hating him. You know what I mean? He's probably the most hated athlete probably we have ever seen and look at him, he still rises above. Them. Outside just of basketball, just what he means to the world, like speaking up and having a voice and being an entrepreneur and a leader for, for our country. I mean, that's big for us. And I mean, look at him, he has a school. I promise he has different things he's doing constantly. And how the hell can you make a movie during this middle of your season and still go out there and be playing at the MVP level? Right. His dedication and determination to be something great and special outside of just being on the basketball court is a testimony to what everybody should want to be. Who, who you think is the hardest player that you've had to defend like in the league? Uh, everybody don't believe me, but, but the hardest person I ever played against who I had to guard was MVP Derrick Rose. That was my rookie year coming into the league. I don't know why they wouldn't believe that. It was because it was great. like it was like him and Russell. Like they just played with so much energy and they, they was always attacking 24-7 mm -hmm. the whole game. They can be up 20 or down 20 and they still attack and being aggressive the whole game. And so to be that explosive that can score at all levels and finish at the rim, uh, it was difficult to defend. Like, I'm like, wow. I mean, my first year coming to the league, I had a road trip where I played like D Rose, Ando, and I had CP, Darren Williams, and then I had Steve Nash. It's like a five game span for me. I'm like, damn, this is the top five point guards in the league. Why is this on my schedule right now? So <laughs> it was dope, man. It was great for me to experience that and go right. through it and see where I stood up against those. And I'll never forget I was playing. You know, Steve Nash used to dribble around the basket all the time. I mean, he went nine for nine against me. I'm over there frustrated, cussing myself out like, how the hell is he this good? Like, how is he that crafty? But you sit back and you gotta appreciate it a lot more when you get to play against him than to see it on TV. Uh, like, I never had no injuries before, but like, you get to the league, like, yeah. certain shit happens, certain things happen. You can't control it. Like, my injuries never was like me doing something. It was just getting kneed in the wrong spot or just growing a bone spur right. or something like that. But if he never got hurt, you never know what the hell would be going on right now. But it was scary for people then, and he was just finding the peak of himself. Dang, I'm on the left side. It's glad, it's glad to see him get back to what he is now. That's a guy that finally stuck to what he believed in. You know, I mean, he's a quiet guy. I don't say too much unless you know him or you're around him. But when it's time to put in his work ethic and do what he does, he's going to do it because me and him had the same training for a while. So I knew about it. Who, who plays the best defense, you think? Oh, uh, my guy, Avery Bradley. Get out. Avery Bradley? Yeah, my guy, Avery Bradley. I've been playing him since high school. And uh, it was funny because it was a year when I was becoming the one point guard. And his teammate, Abdul Gotti, was like the number one point guard. So I took his spot. He went too. And Avery wasn't really talked about then. Right. And we playing him. He gave us 30. And then he started going guarding full court and shit. I'm like, damn, who is this guy? Like, it's the guy they talk about, but this guy just as good as this guy. Right. And that's when his name started to buzz, but that, that'll be the guy I say. What's your uh, what's your favorite shooter hoop? Yeah, my favorite <laughs> shooter is the Kobe's, man. Uh, Any particular Kobe model? The fives or the sixes I love the most, you know what I mean? That was just dope to me. And like most of the season you see me, I was trying to wear those as much as possible. I saved a lot for this next season, so I didn't wear them all this year. I usually like to try to get an extra pair, or sign a pair, and give it away, but yeah. I won't give them away no more. So, but those are just dope to me. They feel comfortable, and then like especially for me, I got like Achilles injury. So like even these, if you notice, like back yeah. here, they have a space where if you had Achilles injury because Kobe had hurt his Achilles, that they made an extra little space back here where your Achilles don't rub against it because some of us that might have like a little uh, scar tissue back there, or still might have a little lump in the uh. back of your Achilles. So. It would rub against the back of your shoe and it would irritate it. So for me, wearing Kobe's, I don't hit, I don't feel that, and it gives me more opportunity to run and do what I want to do. The player gets his shoe molded a different way than what it is in the story. You know what right. Right? Yeah. That's just how I got to be because they fitting it for his foot to play the best he can play. Right. So they all make it differently, but these Kobe's, I mean, all basically all of them fit what I need and what I try to do. So I appreciate you doing this. I'm let you get up out of here, but this one kind of hit different, you know. Ooh, you guys stuck around to the end. Oh!
All right, I appreciate that. So let me tell you a little bit about the sponsor for today's sports battle. This is, of course, a fantasy sports app with up to 20 times in cash winning. Sports Battle has the easiest way to play over and under. All you do is pick a game and a player. Then you predict if your player will score over or under their average in any stat like, you know, goals, rushing yards or even headshots. Play National League sports, including NBA, NFL, MLB, F1, NASCAR, soccer, golf, tennis and MMA. And esports like Dota 2 and CSGO. Support the channel support the sponsor support support y'all know how it goes i appreciate you guys and i'll check you guys out in the next video